Imagine zipping from one city to another at nearly 760 miles per hour, suspended in a sleek pod inside a vacuum tube. Sounds like science fiction, right? But this is the bold vision of Hyperloop Alpha, a revolutionary transportation system proposed by Elon Musk. The concept is simple yet groundbreaking. A pod traveling in a near vacuum tube, minimizing air resistance and friction, magnets lift and propel the pod, creating a smooth, frictionless glide. This means incredibly fast, efficient and environmentally friendly travel. But turning this futuristic dream into reality is a monumental challenge. From vacuum pumps and magnetic levitation to advanced materials and regulatory hurdles, the journey of Hyperloop Alpha is a fascinating blend of innovation and ambition. How close are we to seeing this high-speed marvel in action? Let's go back to the late 1800s. The idea of high-speed travel was a topic of fascination. Engineers and inventors were dreaming of ways to cut travel times dramatically. Among them was Robert H. Goddard, who in the early 20th century conceptualized the VAC train. This idea involved using a vacuum tube to reduce air resistance, allowing trains to travel at incredible speeds. However, the technology of the time couldn't bring this vision to life. Fast forward to the 1960s, the concept of the magnetic levitation or maglev emerged. This technology promised to lift trains off their tracks using powerful magnets, eliminating friction and enabling high speeds. The first commercial maglev train, Japan's Linimo, began operation in 2005, reaching speeds of up to 62 miles per hour. However, even this impressive feat was just a stepping stone. In the 1980s, further advancements came from Germany with the Transrapid system. This maglev train reached speeds over 300 miles per hour during tests, showing the world that superfast ground travel was possible. Yet, despite the successful demonstration, high costs and political issues prevented widespread adoption. Despite these advancements, the dream of building the world's fastest train capable of speeds far beyond what we see today remained elusive. In recent years, a new and ambitious proposal reignited global interest. It promised to overcome the limitations of existing technologies and push the boundaries of speed and efficiency. This project, known as the Hyperloop Alpha, aimed to revolutionize travel by combining the principles of maglev and vacuum trains in a novel way. But how did it plan to achieve what others couldn't? And what were the challenges it faced along the way? The story of Hyperloop Alpha begins in 2013 when tech visionary Elon Musk unveiled a groundbreaking proposal that promised to revolutionize transportation. This new concept aimed to overcome the limitations of existing high-speed rail systems by combining the principles of magnetic levitation and reduced air resistance. At its core, Hyperloop Alpha is a high-speed transportation system that involves pods traveling through low-pressure tubes. The idea is to create a near-vacuum environment inside the tubes to drastically reduce air resistance. This would allow the pods to achieve incredibly high speeds with minimal energy consumption. The concept takes inspiration from the vacuum trains envisioned by Robert H. Goddard in the early 20th century, but incorporates modern technology to make it feasible. The design of Hyperloop Alpha involves several key components. The tube, the pods, the propulsion system, and the support infrastructure. Each element plays a crucial role in the overall functionality and efficiency of the system. The tube is perhaps the most critical component of the Hyperloop system. It needs to maintain a near vacuum environment, which means it must be airtight and capable of withstanding external atmospheric pressure. To achieve this, the tubes are constructed using strong, lightweight materials like steel or reinforced concrete. These materials ensure structural integrity while keeping construction costs manageable. The interior of the tube is designed to be as smooth as possible to minimize friction and turbulence. This smooth surface is essential for maintaining high speeds and ensuring a comfortable ride for passengers. Additionally, the tube is elevated on pylons, which helps to minimize land use and reduce the impact on existing infrastructure and natural landscapes. 
The pods are the vehicles that travel through the Hyperloop tubes. Each pod is designed to carry passengers or cargo of up to 760 miles per hour. The design of the pods is aerodynamic to minimize air resistance, and they are equipped with a pressurized cabin to ensure passenger comfort and safety. One of the key features of the pods is the use of magnetic levitation, or maglev technology. This involves using magnets to lift the pod off the track, eliminating friction between the pod and the tube. There are two main types of maglev technology, electromagnetic suspension, EMS, and Electrodynamic Suspension EDS. Hyperloop Alpha uses EMS, where electromagnets on the pod are attracted to ferromagnetic rails in the tube, creating lift and allowing the pod to hover. To propel the pods through the tubes, Hyperloop Alpha uses a linear electric motor. Unlike traditional rotary motors, which generate rotational motion, a linear motor generates motion in a straight line. This is achieved by placing electromagnets along the length of the tube. When the magnets are energized in a specific sequence, they create a moving magnetic field that pushes and pulls the pod forward. The linear motor system is highly efficient and can provide rapid acceleration and deceleration. This is crucial for maintaining high speeds over long distances, while ensuring smooth and controlled stops at stations. Additionally, the propulsion system is powered by renewable energy sources, such as solar panels installed along the length of the tube, making Hyperloop Alpha an environmentally friendly transportation option. Building and maintaining the Hyperloop system requires a robust support infrastructure. This includes the pylons that elevate the tubes, the stations where passengers board and disembark, and the control systems that monitor and manage the operation of the pods. The pylons are spaced approximately 100 feet apart and are designed to withstand natural disasters, such as earthquakes. They also incorporate flexibility to accommodate thermal expansion and contraction of the tubes. The stations are strategically located to maximize accessibility and minimize travel times. They are equipped with air locks to maintain the vacuum inside the tubes when pods enter and exit. The control systems use advanced software and sensors to monitor the status of the pods, the pressure inside the tubes, and the condition of the track. These systems ensure the safe and efficient operation of the Hyperloop, providing real-time data to operators and enabling automated responses to potential issues. Despite the promising technology, Building Hyperloop Alpha comes with significant challenges. The cost of constructing the tubes and the necessary infrastructure is substantial. Initial estimates suggested that a route from Los Angeles to San Francisco would cost around $6 billion. However, subsequent studies have indicated that the actual cost could be much higher, potentially exceeding $13 billion. Another major challenge is maintaining the vacuum inside the tubes. Any leak or breach in the tube would compromise the low pressure environment, reducing efficiency and potentially halting operations. Ensuring airtight seals over long distances and through varying terrains is a complex engineering task. Safety is also a paramount concern. The high speeds involved mean that even minor malfunctions could have catastrophic consequences. Designing fail-safe systems, emergency evacuation procedures, and robust monitoring systems is essential to mitigate these risks. Despite these challenges, significant milestones were achieved. By 2020, one of the prominent Hyperloop companies conducted a successful human trial, reaching speeds of 100 miles per hour in a test pod. This was far from the target speed, but represented a crucial step in proving the concept's viability with passengers. If successfully implemented, Hyperloop Alpha could revolutionize transportation. The ability to travel at speeds of up to 760 miles per hour would significantly reduce travel times between major cities. For example, a trip from Los Angeles to San Francisco, which currently takes about six hours by car or an hour by plane, excluding airport procedures, could be completed in just 35 minutes. As we move forward, the dream of the world's fastest train remains both an exciting possibility and a formidable challenge. The journey of Hyperloop Alpha has only just begun. 
and the world will be watching closely to see if this revolutionary concept can become a reality. The question remains, will Hyperloop Alpha overcome these challenges and usher in a new era of high speed travel? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and turn on notifications for more fascinating insights into groundbreaking technologies and innovations.